Hello everybody, it's Christopher. Hope that you're well. Uh, back with another one of uh, of my videos. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing a, an injury video. Um, so Mithetherian nearly brought us some nice returns the last day. Patchy week otherwise. But all those players that I tipped have got great long-term potential as well, guys. So don't just flip and sell. You know, there's so much potential in them. So I thought, because a few people have asked me and I've had a lot of DMs as well. Again, thanks for all your support. Growing the channel. It's kind of exploding a little bit now. So please like, subscribe and share. It would make a lot, you know, mean a lot to me as well. It's all free content. Um, and, and it just really helps the algorithms as well and put some alerts on. So... First player, someone that I mentioned on the timeline, it's just he's such an amazing player as Polino. I can't believe how much people have missed his value. So again, um, are you getting him at value? He has spiked from up here. It would have been lovely at 49p, but this is a lad that was £2.30 when he was actually playing before his injury. And he's been fantastic form. Um, I see him getting a move to a bigger club long term. And if that's the case, that one term name is huge. 20 years of age. He's not even 21 to the summer. Look at those walls. So, God, guys, I, I can't even know further to go down. Less than a thousand, I would reckon, to get him all the way up there from 74 to 94p. You'd probably hit him to £1.10. Um, I think his realistic price is £1.50, and you're wondering why. Very good PB. He had very decent PB. Um, another big point as well to him as well. Obviously, I've mentioned his age, um, but he is going to be back in February from his injury. Will he play or not? I don't know, but he's back into training. Um, as I said, only 20, 20 years of age. He only averaged 24 minutes a game before his injury. He had 13 games. So remember that, guys. You're talking about equivalent to 300 minutes. And he had three goals and he had two assists. Uh, he nearly won PB as well, I remember, uh, in one of his games. So where the hell are you getting a young player that's hyped all over the place, um, that's at a great age, in a very good team, which is a great, uh, Leverkusen team. Kay Havertz is gone since he got injured. Um, I think for sure he'll be in the team. I think he'll get a great chance to perform. There's a lot of hype around him before his injury. And I think he's just an amazing player for the future. Um, he was in my top six top six video, just trying to think nice and catchy. Uh, look, I checked that other video for lots of detail around it, but he's out for the next 10, 12 days, guys. And again, are you getting them at value? You certainly are. Why am I mentioning him? Well, because over here, pound fifty six. look how much he's gone up. Yeah, he's rebounded a bit. But since his injury, he should really, with all the rises, be around two quid. So when he comes back and he posts a very good score, I think he's just going to rock it. I think he's one of the most important players for PB under that two quid mark. 24p already in dividends in the last year. And people keep going on about his injuries. And I understand that. And they call him the glass man at the moment. But look at his age. He's 27. He's going to get links away. And I'm not going to bore you. I did it the last time. There's lots of MB that he's getting as well. 5,000 points. 129 mentions in the last year. Um, He's had two goals. And two assists since he just come back. 11 goals and six assists last season, an average of 140 PB. He's someone you don't have to, you know, flick around with. You don't have to flip. Um, he's just going to win you top six all the time. And I think as an injury hold, he's underpriced by about 30p. When he comes back, I could just see him rocketing. This lad has already started to see lots of bids coming in on him, cheeky bids. And he's already bounced back by six pence. Please don't be too late on this guy. Um... Are you getting him a value? You're still getting him a massive value. And why was he so high? Well, he's only 28. He's playing for Cologne, who really need him. He's a regular. But this is the key. Before his injury last season, he got five goals and six assists. And his PB baseline was about 125. He's got a good baseline. A regular in the team. On some of the set pieces as well. At 28 years of age, he plays in the Austrian team as well for the Euros. And they are thin walls up to here. Up to 40p. You're talking about less than a 1,000. He comes in, he does well, he hits a high PB score. Uh, he reminds me of a Stoger who plays, um, who's now moved uh, this season uh, after being on a free and he's, he's at Mans. But I, I think he's like a Stoger or a Griffo is another one I think as well. And Griffo should be around 60p. This guy, and I'm trying to do this all the time, is reading the charts, guys, because I, um, I do stock trading. So I actually look at the charts as well. For me, he's around here. I think just looking at looking at it, I, I think he's at least a 40p player, which would be a massive return. Massive return. You're picking up for 25p, you're nearly doubling your money.
Like it, those walls will evaporate so quickly. They already have because he's already gone up so quickly and he's got a lot more in him, guys. And he's going to be back soon in the next month or so. So sorry, another player that's going to be back in the next month. This next player is going to be back on Wednesday and he will be playing this week. And I can't believe he's been missed. It's Garassi. He is an IPD hold, but he's 24 years of age. He's got great long-term potential. He's at an amazing price. You're picking him up for 31p, 32p. You can see here last summer before his injuries and stuff like that, West Ham were interested in him before he he moved, um, to be honest, to Rennes. He signed a contract in 2025. They're a selling club. They're going to sell him for definite. I know it. Uh, and when that happens, if it's a premiership, it's huge. Um, these are great stats, I think. Three goals and one assist in 11 games this season before his injury. Nine goals last season. Um, decent enough uh, PB for a striker who only kind of scores. I think it'll be tougher for him now. But I think he he can get you a, a couple of goals in a game. He can get a hat-trick, get into the PBs, and also get into the top six for what, 31p, 32p, 24-year-old? And he's back this week, been massively overlooked. And I'm saving the best to last. Um, he will be back in April. People have triple, triple checked, I have, is Niccolo uh, Zanolio, and I never pronounce his name, Zaniolo. I don't know. I'm giving it a try, right? 21 years of age. Are you getting him at value? You're still getting him at massive value. Do I need to explain who this guy is? Um... This is the main issue with him is because obviously his cruciate ligaments is the second one he suffered, but he's 21 years of age. Please go on to social media. I rarely look at it, but look at his own postings on Twitter himself. He's on Instagram stuff. I follow a lot. It's like stalkerish at this stage, which is not the best thing to say, but because I translate all the stuff, he is so positive about coming back. He's even gotten COVID now and he's flying through it. He's starting to do his training. He's on about coming back. He's on about the Euros. Roma want to sign him up to a five-year contract. You don't do that on somebody that they don't think is going to be back. The best age to get these injuries sometimes is the age he's at. He's going to come back and recover. And let's be honest, guys, two goals in qualifying for Italy for a player not even 21 yet at the time. Um... He's only just turning 21 as well. He won't be 22 until Euro time. Six goals and two assists but, uh, last season before his injury. Four goals and two assists the season before. He is the new Totti. I think he'll get rumours of moving away. I, I think for me, when he returns, he'll be £1.75. That might be my exit point, £1.75. And if you're new in, you buy him at one pound and nine p you're making 70p. You buy 100 of them, that's 70 quid. I'm talking about 60 cent return. If you want to hold him, and he, supposing he comes back and he gets back to his old form, this guy can be one of the best in the world. He should be about £3.50, I think. If he comes back, he's fit. He gets over his injuries. He starts posting the PB he did. He's going to be at the Euros. He's probably going to get transfer rumours. All the big clubs will be after him. Real Madrid already still looking at him. I, I, I think Italian players rarely move, so I'm not buying him for transfer. But he could be one of the main players for Italy for the next 10 years. You're all about having a hold. He can hit into top six. He can win PB. He can score. He's marketable as well. He's the big man in Italy. He's what they're pinning the futures on. Roma trying to pin him down to a long-term contract because they know how good he is. Um, so, guys, there are five players. Zanolio's back in April, and I think you're looking at £1.75 when he comes back. Garassi is just too cheap at the moment. He should be about 45p, and he's back this week. Kans is back this month, along with Polino. Both those are massively underpriced. Um, Polino is just such an amazing talent. And Dybala, Dybala, he, he will be getting a move. He's great for PB. I'm holding him for PB, no matter what club he's at, because he's sometimes on set pieces, because he does crosses, because he's got so many key passes, dribbles, and then he scores as well. With Ronaldo retiring in the future, or maybe Ronaldo with injuries and him coming in, I think he's a massive hold. So as always, guys, please like, subscribe and share. And thank you for all your support as well. You know, I'm here as well on Twitter, F1 Addict, F1 Tipster, if you ever need any help.